So in a previous lesson that we were looking at, we created a grass on a grid, we filled it up, and we um, made it look just like grass. So in this lesson, we're going to go a step further and really kind of control where the grass is, how it's, where it's positioned, and things like that. So we're going to start actually grooming the... Um, the fur to be able to make it look the way we want it to. So I'm going to start off really similar to what I did before, creating a grid, adding a mountain, and the stuff that I did before I'm going to go through a bit quicker. I might not even actually color the grass to look like grass. Um, maybe I'll make it like dead grass because the default color is kind of a brown color. Okay, so here I have the ground plane and the first thing that we can do that will give us a little bit more control is actually um, decide what polygons we want to be able to paint our hair onto. So I'm going to go over to the stack tool and if I click and hold, I can get to brush picking. It gives me a little bit of a brush here. I'm going to scroll the mouse wheel up so that I can increase the size of the brush here. And I'm going to go through and make a little selection like this. And then if I hold shift, do that I can make another selection and then um, holding control on a Mac I can go back in and maybe white it up some parts of it so that way it looks a little bit wider and even throughout the whole thing so I'm gonna make a little patch of grass, I mean not a patch of grass, but grass on both sides to make it look like a little walkway. Uh, so now we want to add the grass to it, so I'm going to go to the hair tab and add fur. And you'll see this time when we create it, it creates it on both sides of the walkway where we made that selection and it doesn't have any here on the ground plane. So here I'm going to add a color node early on because I know I want it to be a bit of a ground color. There you go. So right now, if we were to kind of render this, we have really kind of weird looking grass and it's super tall and everything, but it looks more like hair that's just been placed on the ground, which is basically what's been happening. So. I'm going to go to my um, grid object with the fur attached to it here. I'm going to adjust the length down, maybe something like that. And the density, I'm going to bring the density way down. And under guides, and again, a lot of this I've already done in the previous lesson, so I want to be able to oops, make it a little bit um, quicker here. So I'm not going to go describing much of what I'm doing here because what I really want to get to is the grooming tools. Um, so here, I randomize the length a little bit. Uh, thickness, I do want this a bit thicker. 
and that's about it. So let's look at what we have here and what our starting point is going to be. So we have the hair and it's looking okay in our scene right now. Um, let's render the whole view. Oh, that's a different lesson that we're going to be working on in the future. So if you want to look at how we're doing hard modeling, it's another lesson that I'm working on. Okay, so I kind of have the grass blades there. They're just kind of going all over the place, which um, doesn't necessarily look all natural. Sometimes you do want the grass to be kind of chaotic, but um, not always. And we want to be able to control that. So that's what we're going to be going over here. So let's stop this. And I'm going to add a quick environment light to our scene just so that we can start getting some shadows in here too. Um, so if we go to the right of this hair tab, we do have a grooming tab here. And with this grooming tab, we can actually use something like maybe the you know, where is it? screen brush. So I'm going to select the screen brush. Let's try that again, the screen brush. There we go. So now that we have that brush, you can see, it's kind of big. We can adjust it small or big depending on what we're trying to do. But um, if I take it and move it around, I can actually control the direction of where the hair is. And it's basically kind of like brushing the hair um, based off of the camera angle and the way that we are um, moving it right now. So I'm creating this kind of looking of the hair or the grass going in one direction. Um, we can adjust the radius and all the properties of this brush over here, the strength of the brush. So maybe if we increase the strength of the brush, we can really start moving these tips in the direction that we want. And um, also adjusting the, the lift. They'll make it so that the um, grass blades will, at the root won't go kind of underneath the ground plane here. Um, let's look at what's happening here. So you can see that it's starting to be a little bit more controlled and going in the direction that we want, which is good. So let's turn that off. Uh, and let's just select the tool again. There we go. So I'm just taking the time here and grooming it all in one direction. And in an area like that, I'm just going to kind of pull up a lot of it just because I want the curves of the tips to straighten out a little bit. And then I can go back in and kind of add that curve in the blade a little bit while still controlling that I want it to be moving that way. Maybe a few going in the opposite direction is okay, um, but that's that. Another thing that we can actually control is the um, length of the curve. So we have the length adjust, and we also have the um, where is it? extend hair. So let's try extend hair first so that you can see what it does. 
And basically what the extend here does is if you grab a specific area, it will take and extend the hair wherever your brush is telling it to go. So that is quite nice. We can really get control of the hair that way by pulling it. And then with the length adjust, what it's going to do is um, when I paint at a specific area, it's going to try to achieve the target length. Right now it's at 0.1. So it's going to kind of shrink it. And that's one way to get the hair to come shorter. We can also increase this number and you can see that it grows out and it grows based off of the normals where as with the extend tool you kind of brush it and it extends wherever your brush is. So here you can just kind of start doing that and I can bring this value back kind of to a lower level. Oops, let's get it way low. And this might get a little bit um, tedious and difficult to be able to get to the exact length that you want or the exact shape that you want. So there's another tool that we can use here that's pretty useful. It's the cut hair tool. So we can kind of look at this at an angle and then draw. And you can see as I draw on the curves here, they're going to be adjusted based off of wherever I painted it there. Um, so they're basically being cut off and reshaped and you can kind of go around in different angles and things like that. So let's look at this hair scene and those are the major tools that you would maybe want to use but you can play around with the different brushes as well to um, come, with, come up with different looks. But as we preview this here, you can see that it's looking a little bit more natural because um, typically the blades of grass, they all face, or most of them face in the same direction. And the reason for that is that they're trying to aim their um, blades of grass to um, see the um, sun and get more light so that way they can grow. And we can control that by using the groom tools as we just saw. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. And um, we'll see you in the next one. Please subscribe.